fella. So, just got the new Switch online. I scored this one for 20 bucks, which is good because they're going for 40 Um New. Well, not new, but you know what I'm saying. So here it is. I just put it on and Alica Cummins. Alakazam, Alica Cummins. What the fuck am I saying? All right, the windows work. Finally, excellent. Let's button this up and let's show you what else I got for you. Peace. What is up, guys? Cummins Kyle back again to bring you guys a new video. Anyways, guys, so my windows finally work again. In the last video, you probably see that they didn't work. Um, but anyways, now they do. Thank you to whoever recommended me uh, replacing the switch. I think it was Johnny Koch and then maybe someone else did as well. Uh, but anyways, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Saved me a lot of money and time because uh, I originally had the window motor and regulator or whatever. That was like 83 bucks. And, you know, this, this switch was only 20 bucks on eBay. Um, they were going for around 40 bucks, but I was able to outbid someone and I won one for 20 bucks. So I was really happy about that. Everything works now. That makes me pretty happy. Um, in other news, guys, as you saw, we painted the manifold, all that shit under the hood. We also painted the lower control arms and, you know, because that's what was going to go on the truck as well as the front end rebuild. So everything is done. The front end rebuild, the control arms, the window switch, everything's working quite well. But I wanted to talk to you guys something today about, um, and what I wanted to talk to you guys about was why my 20 by 12s have literally destroyed the truck. Um, the front end wasn't bad at all before I put them on. I put the tires and wheels on at about 190,000. Uh, now the truck has 201,174 miles. Um, and in that span of about 11,000 miles, we've had to replace U-joints, we had to replace um, the whole front end, the control, lower control arms. And yeah, so that's obviously expensive. You know, it's not fun. Um, and that's literally what 20 by 12s will do to your truck. Everything about 20 by 12s is absolute garbage except for the way they look. You know what I mean? They look amazing, they're cool, whatever, but they ride like shit. Um, Neato 420s would probably ride better, but you know, bald butters. Um, either way, because of the offset in the wheel, it puts a, like a crazy amount of stress on your ball joints, all of your front end components. You guys know what I'm saying. I'm not a mechanic, but it's just obvious that that's what you know a bigger tire will do. Uh, not to mention, my fuel economy has gone down by about two mpg. It was about. 17 and now it's like 15 or so um, this is just like mixed city and highway driving I do mostly highway though um, if I cruised about 65 I'd obviously get better fuel economy but I'm usually whipping like 80 or so um, but either way guys I'm going to the shop right now um, I was instructed by the mechanic to take off these tires and wheels and that is because they're making all types of noise I think the tires are like cupped or something there's something's wrong with the tires at this point um, stop talking guys i'll see you guys at the shop and we will take off these tires and wheels unfortunately if any of you guys want to buy them go ahead and buy them they're going to come back don't worry the tire if no one buys it they will come back um in the spring of next year and um we're going to get new tires for it and it'll run good again but uh but yeah i'll see you at the shop guys peace tires are all loaded up boys it is time to take off Stance Nation. Oh God. By the way guys, let me show you the front end here. Here's the new lower control arms look like. Pretty sweet. Um, Kanik also said that I should look into trying to get a front axle because there's a whole massive hole right here where the coil spring sits. Um, but yeah. Upper and lower ball joints all moog, everything else, Detroit axle parts. Pretty good, pretty good. So, freaking humid and disgusting out here in New Jersey, man. It's awful today. Um, but yeah, let's get these off. Stop it.
gave the kid one option Go to school and get a job, but it's so common All around me, they slaving for the bills But I knew I wanted more and told my boys that we could make it to the hills Living real, doing what I love, going day to day But I know it takes time and I'm patiently waiting Sometimes I contemplate, cause one day you feel so close And the next is out of sight But I know I gotta hold on tight to go back to just going out every night Like if I'm about to let it go now, I can live alright Live a normal life, do a 9 to 5 But I know I'm more than that, I gained this skill, wasn't born with that At the end of the life, it's a memory And I wanna know how to remember me Either hate the kid for what I am Or love the boy for what I'm not right Changes, but the game is never gonna change us They never said it was painless Ain't no recipe to be famous, but I'ma take my time and I know it's worth it Step by step, climbing up the surface Yeah, I'm never gonna follow him and make it to the top And that's for certain Guys I don't really know what to say about this Other than the fact that these are for sale If anyone wants to buy them $1,300 Tires are bald, rims are in great condition And, uh, yeah so, time to finish this up. Uh, it really doesn't look too bad. It's just like, you know, stance, as much as I love it, you know, it's it's kind of nice to have it gone for a little bit. I can't believe I'm actually saying that. Um, but yeah, because like I just took it for a ride to get some water after I put the two front tires on. The thing just rides like, oh my God, it rides great with the stock tires. So, plus, like I said, the fuel economy will be, will be up. Not beating on my front end parts, so on and so forth. But yeah, just throwing on the lugs, and I'm gonna tighten it with the impact. And yeah, boys, we're gonna be done here. Um, I also just got my lab analysis back from Blackstone, um, so I'm gonna be making a video of that showing you the results of that as soon as they come through. Um, but yeah, boys. Cummins Kyle here. Have a good day. Ah. Woo! Up ah. oh, wrong way. She's angry. she goes holy shit I do have the center cast by the way guys so don't worry there um, but yeah it really doesn't look too too bad just kidding it looks like shit in comparison to the 20 by 12s but what are you gonna do guys the sky is getting real dark I'm about to get freaking pissed on it is so humid out here it's unreal it's like more humid than a freaking your typical day in Florida let me tell you um, but yeah I just got a hand tighten this and we are all set Boy, she's all back to stock form. I just gotta grab the uh, the caps in the shed there, and we are good to go. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I'm sweating like crazy. I'm telling you, it's humid as hell. But if you guys enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs like. What the? F leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the video. Pick up a decal in the link below. Cummins Kyle out. Thank you for watching. Buy my wheels. 1300. Peace out. <laughs>